Hey guys, I'm Stephanie and welcome to The Daily Stir. It is great to be back. Today we're talking about the Biebs and Gomes split, K-Stu, this is Fifty Shades of Grey, and T-Swift can't find love. Stick around. Oh my God, my world is ending. Justin Bieber and Selena Gomez. <laughs> Jelena has officially called it quits. <laughs> I don't know how I didn't see this coming, but I can't help but feel a little bit guilty. Maybe there was something I could have said or done, and supposedly they broke up a week ago. Why wasn't I called? Sources say it was Selena who pulled the trigger and that you never know with these two. They could be back together in a few days. Well, you know what? Sources spare me, okay? Because I am sick and tired of this emotional roller coaster. I am forced to ride every single day. They're so beautiful together. No, don't cheat on her. Oh, he kissed her. Oh, don't leave him! Let's just rip this band-aid off as quickly and as painlessly as possible. Justin Bieber and Selena Gomez are over. It's done. This is just like Nick and Jessica all over again. This week's cover of Us Weekly shows Taylor Swift with a classic puss face and a caption reading, Taylor Swift, why she can't find love. Geez, why not give the girl a pint of ice cream and a subscription to a dating website? I mean, she's only 22 people. Let the girl kiss a few frogs. I mean, when I was 22 and I dated John Mayer, I always... Uh, well, you know, this isn't about me, this is about Taylor. Taylor's friends are so concerned for her that they're dishing intimate details about her love life, or lack thereof. A friend of Taylor's said, all Taylor wants is to be loved. She's a prisoner of her work. It takes up all of her time. She overworks relationships and puts so much pressure on them that it ultimately kills the deal. Are we really blaming Taylor's lack of time for her inability to keep a relationship? Really? It has nothing to do with the fact that guys are probably scared to date the woman because they know they'll be blasted over the radio a week later? And now we're all afraid that Taylor will never, ever, ever get another boyfriend. Just when I thought Kristen Stewart and I could start seeing eye to eye on things, she proves me wrong again. In a recent interview with Backstage Magazine, k Stu opened up about the fact that she's skimmed Fifty Shades of Grey and said it's so raunchy that she's genuinely creeped out by it. I'm not sure if you're aware just how many fans this book has, Kristen, but you better watch your back. You don't wanna mess with us. We've got whips and chains and clamps. She also says people who read the book in public, like us, are reading straight up porn. I don't know what Rob's told you, Kristen, but you don't read porn. No, Kristen, I just read Fifty Shades of Grey for the, for, for the articles. Look, Kristen, there's nothing to be embarrassed about. I'll even read a bit right now. His pointer finger circled my, oh. I'm gonna need a few minutes. Today's extra sugar is John Stamos. The gorgeous actor tweeted a blast from the past photo of himself and said that he looked like a pork chop. It's nice to see he has a sense of humor and John Stamos has been compared to a lot of things, but I'm pretty sure a pork chop has never been one of them. I don't think the man is capable of taking a bad photo. Have mercy. Are you guys embarrassed to read Fifty Shades of Grey in public? Let me know in the comments below. Subscribe to Cafe Mom Studios and follow me on Twitter. And guys, a lot of people were affected by Hurricane Sandy, so if you can, please make sure to donate and lend a helping hand. Mwah! You're, 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 you're. With a classic plus on her face. Long Island represent, oh, they don't do this. <laughs> what do we do? Look, Kristen, there's nothing to be embarrassed about. I'll even read a little bit right now. Oops, sorry, it was flipped this way. And now I'm afraid she... <laughs>